Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're gonna to go over three similar binding knots, the clove hitch, the constrictor knot, and the boa knot. They all have different levels of retention or security and some other pros and cons that go along with each. So let's dive in. First, let's go over the clove hitch. This one's really easy to tie, and so that's its main advantage. To tie this knot, we'll just take one end of the cord and go in a few inches, and then make an overhand loop like this, with the top cord being on the right, then we'll make another one right next to it with the top cord also on the right. Then we're going to put that right loop underneath the left loop. And then we can slide our object into the middle of that knot and pull both ends to tighten it down. This knot is definitely simple to tie, but it does tend to slip, especially when tied in slippery rope like paracord. There are many different ways to tie the constrictor knot, but we're going to go with one of the easiest today. It's similar to the clove hitch, where we form the knot first and then slide it over the end of our object. So we'll take the end of that rope, go in a couple inches again, and make a loop. And this time our right side cord is underneath. We're going to stand that loop upright on the table, like this, and then fold down this side of the loop this way and this side of the loop that way. So we have this figure eight looking knot and then we're gonna pick up the middle cords. So just between your thumb and forefinger, pick up all three of those middle cords and fold down the two outside loops. Make that a little bit bigger here and then we can slide our dowel through the middle. The constrictor knot is actually really secure and has been used as a surgical ligature, which means they use it to bind blood vessels during a surgical operation. Fun fact. This last knot is called the boa knot, and this is a relatively new knot when you consider how old knots are. It was made back in the 60s. Don't have info on who made it, but it's a little bit trickier to tie than the other two. So that's its main downside, but it is a very secure knot nonetheless. To tie this knot, we'll take the end of the cord again and leave a little bit more slack on this one since there's some more wraps. Make some loops with our right side cord underneath and our left on top. We'll lay another loop right on top of that. And then we want to make those loops a little bit larger. So pull them apart until there's a couple inches in between. And then we want all of our cords to be laying parallel to each other. So on the bottom we've got our three, and on the top we've got our two with none of them crossing over each other. And then we'll take this right side here and twist it upwards. And we just want to pinch in the middle to make sure that none of our cords are changing position. And then we're going to take our object and bring it up through the side. Again, with no twisting. Over the middle and down through that other side. Just like that and then pull on both ends very slowly. And we want to avoid any crossing over like this. So we'll just fix that one there. And on the top side, it should look like this. So on the bottom, all of them are parallel, but underneath the middle here, we've got this nice twist going on. And that's covered up by these two cords going right over the top. So we'll just pull that tighter. And if you have some binding like this, part that's not tightening down, you just want to tighten down that loop individually and then continue pulling on the ends until it's nice and tight. So like I said, this knot is much newer than the others and also more secure than certainly the clove hitch, but perhaps also more secure than the constrictor. Um, but it is pretty hard to tie, and so you have to take that into account when learning how to tie these. If you can't remember how to tie a knot, then it's pretty useless, since I'm definitely not gonna look up the directions every time I want to use a knot. So there we have our three binding knots with three different levels of retention or security with the boa being perhaps the most secure, but also the hardest to tie, which should definitely be taken into account when deciding a knot's usefulness. So if I were to pick a favorite out of these, it would probably be the constrictor, as that has stood the test of time and has definitely seen a lot of action and proved its worth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the tutorial useful. If you did, please leave us a like and check out the rest of our knot tying playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.